and he's going to use everyone that's listening and watching to produce everything that needs to be done and the material end of it to get it done and get it a working in Jesus' name. Amen. Agree with me in Jesus' name because God's wanting to do some things and God is doing some things. But the more of us he can get together, the more of it he can do. Hallelujah. If you're somewhere where you can, got somebody around that'll smile back at you, look over at them and smile at them. Tell them you love them. God's good to us, ain't he? He's just real good to us. You know there's such a thing as angels. And I'm not going to teach on that, but there's some awful good stuff in the Word about angels. And you know it says in... In Hebrews chapter 13 here, it says, let brotherly love continue. I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm ministering on love, what I'm going to minister on. Love. Love. But let brotherly love continue. Why do we need to let brotherly love continue? It says, be not forgetful to entertain strangers... For thereby some have entertained angels unawares. I want to think about that now. And, and I say sometimes that what I'm teaching might not be one of them kind of messages. It'll be real handsome. And this may not be, but it'll be powerful. Because God's love is powerful. But what he's saying here, Brenda, he's saying that, that we better... To, be aware at all times of the love of God that's in us. We better be aware all the time to show forth that love because that we might go somewhere, might be at Walmart, it might be on our workplace, it might be anywhere, and they might be a person there that's a needing something and we might not love the way we ought to, and it might be an angel that we are depleting of something we ought to be doing for God. Think about that now. I've not went off on the deep end here either. Let brotherly love continue. In other words, don't let your old feelings and your old, old uh, idiosyncrasies and your old whinings and complainings get in the way let love continue. Let love be predominant in your life. Because if you're not careful, you could be having a bad day and God might send an angel that would look just exactly like another human being and you might be mean to him and not even know who you're being mean to. This is the word of God. Now, I, I mean, I've not made that up. This is the word. But let brotherly love continue. In other words, let it be what's the ruling factor in this thing. Because an angel can possibly look just like a human. And we can treat that angel bad and think it was just to being a smart aleck, which we would be. But I mean, we could get ourselves into trouble quick, couldn't we? But now what's more important? One of God's little people or an angel? We're, we're so important that God loved us enough that he died for us, didn't he? We talk about faith all the time. That's good. We talk about speaking the word all the time, and that's good. But a lot of times we don't talk about love, do we? And the greatest thing it can be is love. That's how come that I ain't dead right now is because of love. Because of God's love. He loved me so much that he sent his only begotten son to die for me. And his son loved me enough that he died for me when he could have stopped it. He could have called in thousands and thousands of angels and have stopped it, but he didn't. He said, that, he said, in other words, I want you guys to know something. He said, they ain't nothing big enough to take my life from me. He said, I've received a commandment of my Father that I don't have to go through with this thing. 
that it's my life that I can lay it down freely and I can also raise it up freely again, but no man can take it from me. He let it be made known plain that he didn't have to do what he was doing, but he loved us so much that he gave his life for us. And they beat him and hurt him, pulled his beard out, spit in his face, beat him to where the Bible said there wasn't any form or comeliness about him. He just looked like a, a hunk of meat, raw meat that was bloody and beat and tore up, mangled. Why? Because he loved us. He loved us. He loved us. And Brenda, I'm going to let you help me to preach what I'm going to preach tonight because of what you was talking about, that love of being that, not being that fuzzy, wuzzy feeling that we think it has to be all the time. 